Hello, I'm going to do the Taurus Weekly Love Energy for the 17th to the 23rd. And this may or may not resonate with you as this is still a general reading. My intention is for this to be a love message, but you never know what the cards are going to say. If you like this, please like and subscribe. All right, we have It is Safe for You to Love, Attraction, and stay optimistic about your love life. All right. So we have, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And by doing that, right next to that, we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully because you have opened your heart and you are ready to receive love. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So I feel like these are all saying the same thing, that it is safe for you to love. Um, these cards are literally flying out. <laughs> Let's see, we saw this one, so we'll do that one. Um, staying positive. And having that energy around you and that's what will attract love for you and if you are in a good place that's the kind of love that you're going to attract if you are not in a good place I feel like that's the type of love that you will attract all right so we have the tower we have the Five of Wands, we have the King of Wands, we have the Ten of Wands, we have a lot of wand energy, we have a lot of red, we have a lot of orange, we have Queen of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Cups, we have Justice, we have the Fool, and we have the Queen of Wands. Lots of feminine energy going on here, lots of females. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Empress, Nine of Swords, Seven of Cups, Five of Swords, Death Card, Four of Cups, and Temperance. So my overall on this reading is that there have been some people that have been talking about you behind your back that has kept you up at night and has there's some people around you that are giving you a lot of negative energy there's some people that are not being true to you and that is upsetting to you and you need to transition and move forward and you need to put yourself in this more positive energy mode because you have a new beginning here all right so now let's break it down We have, it is safe for you to love. So we already went through that. We have the tower. The tower represents something that was built on a false foundation. It's false beliefs. Um, and it's about rebuilding something from the ground up and building it stronger. We have the five of wands, which represents, obviously you can see these two people are doing a tug of war in between these wands, going back and forth. And they are arguing about things. We have the king of wands. I feel like, I feel like there's somebody that's very controlling in your life. There's somebody that's very controlling in your life and it's not that it's all one-sided. It's all one-sided. And I feel like you are at the end of your rope with this and that you're done dealing with it. We have two of pentacles, which represents balance. We have the chariot about moving forward. Yeah, you're ready to move forward. You're ready to... 
this represents growth. I feel that you are ready to move away from this relationship. This person, whatever this relationship is to you, there is a very fiery, controlling, negative, um, arguing like this not positive relationship that you have been dealing with for a while and you're ready to tear that down and you are ready to move forward with that. You're ready to find balance in your life. You're ready. You're growing. You're moving. You're moving forward and you don't want to be stuck in this anymore. And you need to believe that it is safe for you to love to find a relationship that is not so toxic. All right. By doing that, by putting this positive energy out here, you are attracting romantic love that is um, because you know what you want and what you don't want, that you're able to attract a new relationship that is different, that is more loving and more kind and is what you deserve. Ten of Wands is releasing that burden. That burden of this relationship is what you have to release. This is what you're releasing. This is what you're letting go of. Of, of all of that queen of pentacles that could represent you because that represents um pentacles are earth signs which is uh capricorn taurus or virgo so that could represent you um and then we have queen of cups which represents it's very emotional for you okay you've been very emotional about this because i feel like this is a roller coaster that you've been on with this person in this relationship and you're just like i want off this relationship i'm over it um, and it's been keeping you up at night and it's been bothering you and you haven't been able to sleep at night. It's been emotionally overwhelming for you. This whole situation has been very emotionally overwhelming for you and it is time for you to put your sword up in the air and to say, I'm over it. I'm done. I'm moving forward. You can talk about me all that you want. You can say whatever you want, but I'm putting my sword up in the air and I'm moving forward. Y'all can live in that turmoil. I'm done with it. I'm over it. Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. It's about knowing that there is something better for you out there than this turmoil and this craziness that you have been involved in. It's about finding balance. Okay? Justice. It's about finding balance. Um, it's about things going in your favor, doing things in your favor, doing things that are positive for you. Um, this is about letting go of the darkness and I feel like this is the darkness that you need to let go of um, you want to feel more balanced it's just been, it's just been one sided the fool, a new beginning a new beginning for you taking those steps for a new beginning queen of wands is about having that fire and that passion again in your life, about um, being strong. Looking towards the future, okay? Looking towards the future. We have Death card. Death card is Scorpio and that represents transition, transformation. It represents letting go of things that don't work for you anymore and moving forward into the next phase because you've grown out of this relationship and you don't need that anymore. Four of, four of Cups is this opportunity is being given to you. It's being presented to you. This is the time. Do you take it or do you not take it? Temperance, temperance is again about balance. It's about being patient. Um, it's about it it's probably going to take you some time to transition from this to this new beginning. Um, it's not most likely something that's going to happen overnight. This is something that's going to take time. This is something that you have to work on and strive for and continually to move forward from. This also represents healing. I think you have a lot of healing to do. I do. 
but I, I, for some reason, I feel like there's a new love that really wants to come in for you. I feel like, like, I feel like you have some healing to do, but I also feel like you're ready for, you're ready for that happy, positive relationship because you've dealt with this long enough. Ah, oh, flowers. Oh, how pretty. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. That's exactly what I was just feeling as I feel like, like this is going to be successful for you. Like you are ready for this. See how bright and pretty this is? Um, that's exactly what I was just feeling for you is that I do feel that there is some light, that there is some hope, that, that you are ready, that like you're more ready than you think you are. But there's still some stuff, some transitioning and some processing that you need to, to go through. But I feel like you've been ready to let this go for a while. Um, sorry about the noise. My dog is playing with a cat toy underneath the table. Um, it's been emotional for you, but I, f I feel it just by looking at this this person that this Queen of Wands here I just feel like she's ready like she's like yep I'm ready and I feel like you're ready too. you're ready to move on to the next phase that new beginning the next phase letting go of what doesn't work for you and getting into that new fun amazing stuff that is waiting for you. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.